Hey guys and welcome, this video is on the plugin Secret Passage, basically what it does is creates invisible doors. So as you can see I've created a little mock up house here, I've created iron doors at the front so people think that's the way in. But I actually want to place a door here. So all users can use this, there's just simple commands, S pass create and then the name. So then all I have to do is start building it, so I dig away where I want the door to be. And basically you have to use sponge or nether brick is I think, or it might be never I can't remember but either way you have to set what the block you use to start with is in the config and then all you do is left click on it with the block you want to replace it with so I'll do an example over here with a little sponge wall and I'll just show you you can replace any block with it you can do a mixture on it and it'll all change and disappear when you want it to so as you can see I've done a mixture wall there and as you'll see when I link it it will disappear so S pass toggle will show you that it is working so you can see they've both disappeared and it's working fine but if I look at the info of it you'll see there aren't actually any toggles I don't want to be typing in the command every time I want to enter my house so S pass info test shows you that it's 14 blocks but there's no switches so there's nothing to toggle it and anyone can use it so depending on what it is, just dig out where you want the button to be, put your sponge block in and then hit it with the button. And basically by default I've got mine set to cobblestone so you have to set that in the config file whatever you want the button to be. And then all you have to do is right click that block and it will all disappear. You can actually add two or three switches, obviously just same process again and it will toggle it on and off from here as well. So now if I look at the info you can see it's got two switches but anyone can still use it. So you just remember where the block is to open it and close it. If I do S pass list you'll see a list of all the passages that I've made. And as you can see there's just the one that's test. Then if I do S pass toggle, obviously put test in afterwards, you can see it will toggle it so I can go in but it stays open. What happens if I forget to close it, I log off, everyone can come into my home. S pass reset will just reset all my toggles back to how they were. But obviously I don't want to be doing this all the time. So you can actually set a timer so it will close after you. You do S pass, timer, and then the time you want in ticks. So I've set it to 50 ticks which is two and a half seconds. And as you can see it will automatically close up after two and a half seconds. So this is the way you'll want to configure it if you're trying to make a secret house. And obviously the same will happen with the second switch as well, it will do exactly the same process. So if I do S pass access allow and then a name of a player, they'll be added to a whitelist so only me and them can enter. So just look at the info and it says we're using a whitelist and the name of the player that can enter is it evening light so obviously this means no one else can enter but us two which is probably what you'd want if you're building a house you'd want to use a whitelist you wouldn't really want to use a blacklist you can actually add a blacklist if you want and I'll just go through the commands for both of these so to remove a player you do remove and then the player name And then you can also add the blacklist if you wanted. So as you can see I've removed him and anyone can use it again. But you can also add a blacklist if you wanted to. So you've got access and you put deny and then the name. So basically this just creates a blacklist for it. So now you can see anyone can use it apart from Evening Light. So he's the only person on the server that can't use this passage. And then also I can just do clear which will clear the access list completely and reset it to the default. So I think this is a great way to create secret houses and secret doors. Obviously it can be open for all players to be able to use as well so they can set up their own passages. Obviously it respects world guard regions and things like that as well so obviously they can't build it on the side of someone else's house. But there will be a download link in the description below and as always guys please remember to rate, subscribe and comment. Cheers.